Hello, this is Claudia Brengo, a graphic designer and illustrator from Barcelona. And in this video, I want to show you how I automate my processes in Illustrator. I did another video for Photoshop, so if you use Photoshop to edit your files, check that out. But here we're talking all about Illustrator because it's kind of different. So if you have seen my previous videos on how I edit my files, my watercolors, and how I trace them into vectors, you will want to know how I automate that so that it's faster and I don't have to edit everything by hand every time. So we could create actions as we did in Photoshop and I'm gonna show you how to do it. But first I want to tell you that tracing, the intelligent tracing from Illustrator, it's not something you can record in an action because it doesn't remind, remember the settings. It just applies the default settings, which is the black and white without many detail. So if you are using pictures like me that have a lot of colors and details, you may want to follow these steps that I'm gonna show you now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open one file just to record the system. And once we do this, as we did in Photoshop, you simply have it recorded. You don't have to repeat this process again. You simply click one time and it will apply forever. So what we have here, it's our file open. We select it and we follow the steps I showed you before. Great, so once you have all the steps you like to follow, before expanding the design, you want to come here and save this as a new preset. This is the key so that from now on, you don't have to select all the settings for each illustration. Just simply click this, you save it, and from now on, you're gonna use this preset. Okay, so we're gonna save it, and I'm gonna call it um, watercolor illustrations tutorial. Okay. And now we have this saved here as a preset. I'm gonna show you how to apply it in a minute. Okay, so from here you can expand, you can take out the white from the background, everything as we followed in the other tutorial. But let's see with another illustration how this works. So now in your Illustrator, it saved this preset forever. So all you have to do is come here and instead of clicking image trace, you can come to the arrow or you can open your image trace panel and open the presets. It's the same. So you want to select the one you recorded, click, and it will automatically apply all the settings as you save them. And this is saving you a lot of time. You don't have to remember each setting. It's all done for you. Okay, now, how do I apply all these in a whole illustration. So the first thing I do is this, I click and I apply this uh, preset, then I expand it manually because as I told you, it's not something we can record. And then I come to the selection, I select the white, I delete it. And when I have my illustration all as I want it, I record also how to save it because again, even if you think, oh, this is just two minutes to save each file. Yes, but it's maybe two seconds if you record it. So at the end, you are saving a lot of time. So how you can record this? And again, if you have multiple ways to save your file, if you have to save it in multiple formats, it, it's gonna help you to, to create an action. So we follow the same steps as we did before. I'm gonna come to the original we were working on so that we can apply it in this one. What we want to do is come to Window, Actions. It's gonna open as an action panel. And I have it in button mode, so I can come to this menu and deselect button mode. So now I see it very similar to Photoshop. Again, you can create a folder, call, call it whatever you want. And we can follow the same process. We're gonna come here and say New Action. Name of the action is to save EPS. Uh, watercolor inside tutorial. I'm gonna tell myself that it's a tutorial so I can delete it later and we can record. 
Okay, so now we are recording. It's the same process as Photoshop. If you have seen the other video, this is gonna help you. But don't worry, I'm gonna guide you through all the steps. What you have to do now is tell Illustrator which steps do you want him to do for you in each illustration. So you want to come to File, Save As, you want to find a folder to save everything. So as I told you in the Photoshop video, I recommend you to create a, pro a process folder in your computer and never move it so that the computer knows always where to find this folder. If you move it in another section of your computer, Photoshop and Illustrator will not find it anymore and it will give you an error. So try to keep it in a place that you're never gonna move it. So now we come here and we select EPS because we want him to save it as an EPS. I'm gonna tell him save, give the presets you want here, okay, wait until it's saved. And again, if you want to save it in multiple formats, you can repeat the process file, save as, maybe you want it in PDF too. Let's do this. Save, save the PDF, and when you see here that everything gets recorded and you have followed all the steps you want, maybe you want him to also close the document for you, then you can press stop and all your steps have been recorded here. Now, what can we do? When we open a new illustration, we simply bring an illustration, we apply the tracing preset we just saved, we clean the background as I showed you in other videos, and then we come here to the actions panel and you can use it in two ways. Well, in multiple ways, but I usually use it in these two ways. You can select the action you want to apply and press play, as I do in Photoshop, or here there is this option to say button mode, and if you scroll, you will find this. So once you click here, it will automatically apply all the steps for you. So we just wait, now it's ready, and we go to our finder, and here in the in process folder, we have our EPS and our PDF files all saved. So this is as fast as you can work with Illustrator. And again, if you want to learn how to use this system in Photoshop, just check the other video. So I hope you find this useful. To me, this is a game changer. It totally changed the way I work and I apply automations in everything I can so that I can just focus on creating and painting and all the creative side of my business and not on these repetitive tasks.